With Election Day here in North Carolina just one week away, efforts to get your vote continue to heat up, and that includes robocalls and text messages. Troubleshooter Diane Wilson is here with a warning about how there are scammers mixed in with those legit efforts and what steps you can take to protect your identity and vote. Besides the election signs, with North Carolina being a battleground state, more than 1.3 million robocalls and text messages have been sent to North Carolina voters, many of those after your personal information. Transaction Network Services analyzes robocall and robotext trends and insights, and they found North Carolina saw about a 40% increase last week over the prior week in the amount of political robocalls, robotext going out to its customers. This is compared to a 5% change for the U.S. Many of those calls and texts, TNS data found in the Raleigh-Durham area, there's a staggering 130% increase and spam traffic. This is one example, a text several ABC 11 viewers got. It tries to get your attention stating you didn't vote yet, which in one of the cases, the viewer already did early vote. If you want to be aware of hyperlinks or, or the little tiny links that are in your text message, those are generally a uh, social engineering mechanism to allow that fraudster to bring you to a website that may look just like the candidate's website, but it's going to be a fraudulent one for collecting your address or information. If you get a call, don't be afraid to hang up, especially if they ask for your personal or financial information. If you want to donate to a candidate, just do it directly to their website. Also, if you have any questions about a call, text message or mailing, you can contact your county's Board of Election. I'm Troubleshooter Diane Wilson, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.